back everybody to my channel in today's video we are going to be finding unknown value you know now in this each of these boxes we want to see if we put the value of five into each of these boxes we want to see the corresponding value we are going to get after computing them do you understand now before i delve into the video into the video properly i will beseech you to please subscribe if you haven't by now and for those that are returning viewers i say a very big thank you to you but if you are new on this channel please do not forget to, sus to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell beside the uh, subscription button so that you get aware or you get notification anytime i upload also please do not forget to push this content to as many people as possible by share, clicking on the share button and please do not forget to give me a thumbs up so that we can beat the youtube algorithm now quite a number of parents and even children need this content their content very very much now why because of the state of the pandemic that the world is experiencing now our new normal now is you know virtual classes seem to be our new normal so please i will implore you to please share this video to as many people as possible to do it share it to parents guidance brothers uncles for everybody needs these mathematical skills quite a number of adults have forgotten their mathematical skills it is time to put on your thinking cap and let's get started with math uh, uh, mathematics methods and skills anyway not only our students but we adults who need to refresh our skills as well all right now let's delve into it properly now the first question is dash minus one now let's read the instruction very well we want to find it find the value of the following if five goes into each of this box now the first box that i have here i have box minus one so let's see if i put five here because that's what we are asked to do we are asked to put five into each of this box based on what we have in the instruction so i'm going to have five here five here and i have five here as well so that means if i have five here 5 minus 1, what should be the, the right value that I'll get? 5 minus 1 is what? 4. Easy peasy. It's just a nice thing on the cake, isn't it? Alright. Now look at the next example. 5 minus 5 will be what? 0. You can see that this one too is what? Easy peasy. Now this one is 5 divided by 3. 5 divided by 3. And that will give me what? How many 3 can I possibly get in 5? It's just 1. So if I have... How many 5 can I get in... Three. Can I get in five is what? One. What am I left with? I'm left with two. So it will now be two over this denominator, which is what? Three. Is that clear? All right. Now here I have 35 divided by what? Five. 35 divided by five is what? How many five can I get here? One. How many five can I get in 35? Seven. So I have seven divided by one, and that is what? Seven. Do you understand? So we, are, we can we can see the correct the corresponding values that we get when we actually put five in each of the words box. Now let's take more examples. Now let's look at example four. Now in this case, look at they say we should find the we are asked to find the value of the following if eight goes into each of these box. So if I put eight into each of these words, let's see what we are going to get first. Let's put, but first let us put eight in all the boxes first. Eight, eight. 8 and 8. So let's see what we are going to get after putting 8 in each of the box. Alright, now let's look at these other examples. When this In this example, we want to put 8 in each of the box to see what the corresponding values will be after calculation. Now, but before we proceed, let us put the 8 in each of the boxes, in each of the box first. So I'm going to put 8, 8. I'm putting 8 because of that the instruction I have here in this case. 8 and 8. Now let's take it one by one. 15 plus 8 will give me what? 15 plus 8. 5 plus 8 is, will give me 13. Then I have 1 here. 1 plus 1 will give me 2, and that's 23. So I have 23. Now here I have 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 will give me what? 1. Here I have 8 minus 7. 8 minus 7 will give me what? 1 as well. Here I have 8 plus 0. 8 plus 0 will give me what? 8. Do you understand? Alright, now thank you very much for watching today's class. The next class promises to be more enlightening. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and at the same time, please hit the notification bell so that you get updates anytime I upload. And please share this video with as many people as possible. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to reach out to me via the comment section. I'll see you in the next class.